and we are live once again. Hi everyone, hi, I'm Krishnan Kipper Habit. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's live stream. It's Tuesday, July 3rd, 2018, and Sweden and Switzerland are playing right now, but 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 we're not gonna watch that. We're gonna we're gonna play some Wittenlore because well because it got a huge update and um I've actually been waiting for updates from uh, on, on Wittenlore because it came out in early access back in January of 2017, so a long time. It's been in early access for 18 months. It's had a pretty rough ride ever since um, its Kickstarter back in 2014. It had a Kickstarter that was successful back then, um, but you know, funds obviously were limited. The game came out in early access, sales weren't very good. The developers, uh, Druid Gameworks, you know, went to Indiegogo. That had a somewhat small success and so the game is not doing well financially but 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 the developers did uh, work and toil and put their heart um, and souls from what I've read and also lots of cash uh, lots of personal cash into it and they're still working on it and they just delivered a um, huge patch actually I was impressed how um, uh, uh, the patch is big but the actual, you know, download isn't that huge, it's like under 700 megabytes. Although the game uh, was added to Dreamworld, which should be a, a pretty big thing. It has new side quests, um, more monsters in certain areas, uh, more creatures in other areas. It has um, a new dialogue sequence, new cinematic sequence, uh, new activities that you can make. So this list, last patch is huge. And you know what, if you were on the fence about the game, this might be a good time to check it out. It is 50% off for the Steam Summer Sale. So until July 5th, two more days, you can get it for 349 So 350 350 $350 dollars a euro. And after that, it's going to go back to $7 a euro. Uh, and it's still going to be in early access, but you know, with more content. Uh, with this last patch, so um, let's check it out together. Wittenlore, Dream, uh, Dream Tide. It's um, first slash third person open world role playing game, and uh, well, let's uh, let's just start and check it out together. Since the first cycle of the wheel, the dawn of life in Arthenswald, many have sought to possess the secrets of the world's divine power through the Wittenwood trees the life force the ancients called Sawal could be tapped. The stories of my fathers say the first race siphoned this power to fuel their cunning devices. Later, the druids of Angion learned how to channel it into martial form. But none came closer to its mastery than a race of giant men called the Nefeniri. They hungered for power, a power that could reshape the world. Divining clues hidden within the Witten lore, the Nefeniri were enlightened to the true nature of Sawal. Yet their reckless pursuit exposed a darkness that had long been concealed. Without understanding the dangers lurking, they crafted a weapon that could unravel the tapestry of the world, should it fall into malevolent hands. And the shadows began their rise to claim it, dragging the Nefeniri into the abyss. Sensing a growing threat to the safety of Arthenswold, the thirteen Ogden spirits who guarded the Wittenwoods gathered at the Sky Table in Duan Road to aid the Nefeniri who remained. The weapon could not be destroyed, or forever lost, and so it was sealed away. In the fires of Emberfold, the Nefeniri forged a master key, for a time would come that their weapon must inevitably be recovered, for good or ill. It is said as a final measure of protection, our great mother appeared in the sky over Duan Road and released a boundless roar that summoned her mighty Ursine children from across the lands to serve as guardians to the Master Key. For countless moons they held their watch steadfast, but as the years passed into centuries, the Ursines lost sight of their true purpose. Distracted by intertribal unrest, and generations of vying for territorial control. They fell into a bitter warring, and the Master Key was all but forgotten. 
Many Ursa fell during those black days. Hate festered within our hearts, the greatest sorrow of our people. Yet amidst the chaos, a prophecy was born and ushered with it a new peace. Hope was rekindled among the diminished tribes. An Ursine would come from a distant land as a cub with no father. The Ursine peoples would be returned to their true purpose. Emberfold would once more awaken, and a great enemy would restore our honor. With this promise, the old prejudices faded away quietly. Territory lines were negotiated, and trade flourished as a new sense of harmony took root. This time of peace cannot last over long. Now, in the midst of the third cycle, signs are whispering on the winds. The mountain stirs. The creatures of the forest shelter as though braced for a storm, and an ancient darkness approaches seeking that which the tribes have neglected. The time of prophecy is at hand, as on this day an orphaned cub comes of age and sets the wheel in motion once more. Within the dreaming, our great mother awaits to reveal their fortune. It is a destiny they will embrace or defy, a destiny that will shape the future of us all. Pretty cool intro. All right, but before we begin, well, this is an RPG, so let's uh, make our characters. We're gonna need to be a, well, we can only be a black claw. All right. Okay, fair enough. Let's see, gender, male, female. Oh come on, what is this binary thing? Come on, it's 2018. All right, let's see. Height, you can't, we can't really change that. Fur color, we can change that. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, this looks weird. Uh, actually, I kind of like this one. Scars. Uh, what scars? Do you see any scars? Nice. Maybe it's on the back. Oh yeah, wait, wait, there's one, okay. Wait. Hmm. Ah, it's fine without scars. Uh, left arm tattoos. Okay. What can we make? Ooh. Okay. Tribal, uh, tribal stuff. Oh, hmm. This kind of looks like uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson stuff. And uh, no, let's let's make something with a little less ink. Maybe this one. I like the colors, very vibrant. Okay, right arm. I'm guessing the same. Yeah. Same options. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, that's too much. That's too much ink. This one? All circles and... Okay. That looks good. Let's see our face. Scars. What if I don't want scars? Uh... Hmm. No. I don't want these cars. High height. Oh. Let's leave this now at length. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, that, this looks weird. This is disturbing. Okay. Make it like this. No size. Uh, bigger nose, obviously. Brow height. Wait. So the game is powered by Unreal Engine 4. Hmm. Okay. Tattoos. Oh, face tattoo. Okay, that's um. Hmm. It's really weird that you. Maybe it's a bug. I have the face tattoo color, but it doesn't change the color. Look. 
Um, I hit choose different coloring, but nothing happens. Well. Ooh. Nah, let's leave him without any tattoos. Chikai Jaw with Jaw Death. Class. Let's just do choose class. So we have here, what do we have? Rogue. We have Bard. Assassin. Pilgrim. Sellsword. Warrior. Scout. Sage. Druid. Hunter. Thief. Uh, Magus. Uh, custom class, I guess. And Warden. Wardens are bound by honor and serve a code of nobility while questing to achieve renowned glory in combat. Totem Dragon. Major, willpower, honor, courage, strength, mind, dexterity, intelligence, luck, endurance. Uh, I wanna be a warden. That sounds like, you know. Alright, let's see. Enter. Okay. Uh, name. Well, cryptic hybrid. Save Avatar, yes! And so it begins with a lore, dream time. Hello, hi did you? Oh, okay. Rise and shine, Ursine. Today you meet your destiny. How do you feel? Um. Uh, good morning, Arkel. I'm eager That's to get started, yes. A Black Claw must grasp their fate with both paws. I must tell you, I okay. have been awaiting this day since you were a mewling cub. Yet now it's arrived. It seems all too soon. Uh, you must forgive an old Ursa's sentimentality. It's okay. Forgiven. There's nothing to forgive. There's nothing to forgive. Let's Can't let's reassure. You. Now, gather your armor and weapon. Um, I thought the right was that's only a dream. More than a dream, but that's not why I ask. I wish to ensure you're prepared in both body and mind before you journey to the seer. You'd better take some healing drafts from the chest too. Hmm, healing glass? What exactly you do you have in mind? Soon enough, unless you'd rather spend the day asking questions. Hmm, <laughs> okay. I'll do as you ask. Alright, so we need collect your weapon, collect your armor, collect the healing dross. So this would be the weapon. You can see here what we got. Uh Wooden torch, oh, this sword has seen better days. Okay. Hmm. The the movement seems really odd. Like you can see how the camera moves, and I don't know. It feels a little bit unrealistic. It's not smooth at all. It's like it's like the camera is being pushed. Instead, uh, instead of having a smooth movement forward, worn buckskin armor. Okay. Take all. Okay, can I put the armor on? Oh, okay. We got the armor. Oh, okay. Let's stop longer. You have them all. Follow me. Yes, uncle. Hmm. It's a nice place. Uh, how do I get down? Okay, like this. You know, it's kind of weird that we're we're bears. Come along now. And we make houses in trees. I mean, it's not the most. But okay. We'll head to the training grounds. Alright, Uncle. It's time to get we your muscles go. working. And we'll see if you remember how to swing that weapon. 
no one yeah, in Shuid that's so difficult to swing a weapon. Charge was unprepared for their dreaming. Hmm. I really like the the visuals. Uh, I, I guess performance could be better, but you know, look at this. It's lovely. Okay, more variety when it comes to the plants would be good, but you know, let's yeah, that's nitpicking. Hmm. Hello. Oh, to be your age Cold again, love. on the cusp of Ursord. Your destiny as yet a whisper on Kate's lips. Alright. He wants to be young again. Well, that's simply not possible. Old man. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Watch yourselves, young ones. Go on up to the training grounds. I'll wait here. What? Why? Hmm. Okay, what do you want me to do? Chato should be at the training grounds. I want you to spar with him. And while you're up there, you can run the obstacle course too. Um, okay, is this really necessary? The dreaming may not be about physical prowess, but honing the body hones the mind, as the saying goes. And there's also the journey to the seer's hut to consider. Put an old Ursa's mind at ease, will you? Okay. Excellent. Of course, Uncle. One last thing. Watch out for boars whilst you're on the course. They've been encroaching on the river lately, and the males are very territorial. Remember what I taught you about avoiding their charge, else you'll gain a limp to match Narbo's. Narbo? He told me he was injured fighting a Narbo dire would cat. Narbo boast about a boar impaling his hindquarters, would he? <laughs> Enough chatter <laughs> now. Return to me once you're finished. Okay, so, so that that guy Narbo got his uh, ass kicked by a <laughs> by a wild boar. Um, all right, I won't be long. Hello. Here. Hi. Okay, you have new quests. To track a quest, press J to open the journal. All right, so we have the tutorial from Humble Seeds. Spar with Chato or Chato. Uh, complete the obstacle course, uh, running the course, the last sun, talk to Nisho. Nisho, the chieftain's daughter wishes to speak with you. The enemy within. Twala, a determined young black claw scout, has seen particularly agitated recently. Perhaps you should talk to her. And this one, talk to Sinala, serves as both, both Fletcher and Boyer? The cell weak and is commonly regarded as the finest archer in the tribe. Um, things are going okay, I guess. Uh, wait, is it there? Let's go there. Things are okay. It's 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 hot, nice. You know, I don't have any Pepsi though, so that's a problem. The training grounds. Here we are. Training grounds. Okay. So this is the obstacle course here. Pretty much we just have to follow the... Well, globes. Follow the globes. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's summer. It's fine. Uh, I, I've seen... <laughs> a lot of people were complaining about... Uh, uh, about the... Temperatures in other countries too. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait! Let's go third person view here. Oh, careful! Wow, you know, for for a huge ass bear, I'm quite uh, 
quite athletic. Ah, no, I don't have armor, no. Alright. Oh, wait. First person, this one. Mm, press G to activate the grab system. This will allow you to move certain objects around the world. G. Bye bye, barrel. Go there. <laughs> Tomato, hello. Hello and bye, as always. Another... Well, I have to grab this, right? Um, it's on summer sale. Oh, okay. How much is it? I mean, it's not a new game, so I'm guessing it's not that. What the fudge? You saw that, right? It's a huge bug! Wait, maybe I need my sword. Where's my sword? Okay, got my sword out. In case that bug comes. That was a huge-ass bug. Oh, 12 euro, that's not a lot. That's uh, quite cheap. Look at that. Look at it. What is it? Son of a... Where are you, bug? Hmm. Alright, not here. Oh, get over here! Hmm. Maybe I need to kill that thing? I don't know, we'll see. We're still not done with the obstacle course. Oh, we have to go here. Oh, I remember this from the beta. Uh, I remember playing the... I think it was a beta version. Of uh, Witten Lore before it came out in early access. And I remember, um, like, doing badly on this one. Like, not, not reaching. Okay. Goring Tusk. Oh, here we are. This way to go. Okay. Oh, that's a boar. Whoa. Oh, it hit me. Jesus. And it took quite a bit of my health. Damn. What the heck? Freaking boar. Come on. Let's go here. Careful. Come on. Yes! Well, that wasn't that hard. Run! Run, bear, run! Oh, crap. Performance is not... Oh, we're back here. Cool. And it is done. We have finished the obstacle course. What do we have here? Shato. Oh, we need to spar with him. And there was another character here. This is Tuala. Oh, I was supposed to talk to her, right? Wait. It was the enemy within. Oh, yeah, see? Talk to Tuala. Okay. Hello? Wait! Don't swing that sword. Chillax. Jesus. Can you put the sword yes. down, please, before you hurt someone? What does uh, it look like? What you doing? My mother gave me a new set of forms to practice. She expects me to be proficient in them by next week, so I'm going to master them by tomorrow. If I'm allowed to train without interruptions, that is. I'm not an interruption. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm here Good. to practice as well. Yeah. The training grounds, so. not the tavern. I wish it was a tavern. Um, it's something nothing. wrong? You were dreaming soon, right? When I reached the age of my own Shinsuke a few years ago, I was so excited. I practically sprinted to the seer to begin the ritual. I was ready for the Great Mother to bless my path in life, 
to confirm what I've known since I was a cub, that I'm to protect this village as my mother once did. Tell me, what path is it that you wish to take? What path I wish to take? Let's see. Uh, same as you, I want to protect the tribe and adventurers. I want to see the world. Uh, the one with the most coin at the end of it. <laughs> I'll wait the Great Mother's guidance. Um, yeah, let's say you we wait for the guidance. A capable warrior, and the village needs those more than ever. I can only hope the Great Mother tells you the same. Yet the dreaming is mm. rarely so straightforward. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. It's okay if you, you, you couldn't make it, that's fine. You're going to S Slovakia? Why? Like, what's the... Um... <laughs> um, is it vacation or, or work-related? Uh, okay, I what happened in your say. dreaming? That's good. Oh, come on, just say it. Just, just say. It's, it's obviously bothering you, yeah. It's a small thing. I don't know why it troubles me so much. When I met the Great Mother in the dream world... She told me that I have a brave and fierce spirit. And she also said, an arrow cannot follow a curved road. Why couldn't she simply bless my oh. path? I didn't need to hear that I was going to be the greatest warrior of all time, just that I would do my part in protecting the tribe. An arrow cannot follow a curved road. What does that even mean? My mother believes it's a warning, uh. but I need to remain focused and dedicate myself fully to the warrior's hmm. calling. When she is not around, my father says it means I should think before I act. Hmm. Your mother's right, your father's right. It means violence cannot solve every situation. You must decide its meaning for yourself. Wow, this is such a rabbi response. It's like, it's not good, but it's not bad. Maybe it means there's no wind in the dream world. Nah, I don't think that's it. Okay, so... A a um, straight arrow can't go on a curved road. I think Do the father's you right. Think so, I, I'll give it further thought. At any rate, I should get back to my forms. Okay, you mentioned that the village my needs was more a great warriors. Scout and warrior before her injury, she saw more of this island than most Black Claws will ever see. She knows the threats our tribe faces better than anyone. And how vital it is that we're able to defend ourselves. And she was a great warrior, and then she took an arrow to the knee. Mm, how did your mother injure herself, cub. exactly? She was guarding a Black Claw trade caravan as it traveled to a sun-blessed village on the southern coast. They were attacked. My mother was hit by two arrows, one in the leg and one in the yeah, see, she took an arrow. But she survived. Well, see, she took an arrow to the knee. The only one who did. The Sun Blessed blame uh -huh. Wild Fang bandits for the attack, but my mother suspects they had a hand in it themselves. Hmm. hmm. Think about it. Why would they By do that? By arranging the attack, they could take our goods without having to part with a single coin or item of their own in return. The other tribes aren't like us. There's no honor in their hearts. Well... Well, we're bears, so I don't know about honor. Um, I take it your mother thinks we need to defend ourselves exactly. against the other tribes? Wild beasts and monsters may roam this island, but the greatest threat to the Black Claws is the other tribes. The War of the Tribes taught us that. The massacre of the Battle of Tears, where hundreds of defenseless Black Claws were cut down by the oath-breaking ice cores. We'll suffer such atrocities again, my mother says, unless we guard against them. Okay, that's fair. Be vigilant. Uh, vigilant. Agreed. See, we must remain vigilant. Only fools yeah. don't learn from history. If we stand idly by, its patterns are doomed to repeat. Good. All right, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you for listening. Stay vigilant. Ah, farewell. All right. Okay. Well, we did one mission. Is that out of the the enemy within? Return to Twala after your dreaming. Oh, we have to also okay. Also get back to her. Well, we need to spar with this guy. Greetings, so Black. come on, Chado. Put up your dukes. Well, How are you, enough, Chado? my friend. On my last scouting, I glimpsed a silver wing amid the forest canopy. 
To see one so early in the year signifies a period of upheaval, so the old tales say. But I was simply glad to hear its song. And you, hmm. your dreaming nears, does it not? Are you looking forward to it? It does. Of course, obviously. Understand. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Meeting the Great Mother is a tremendous honor. But remember, we're each of us her children. She only wishes to guide you towards your place in this world. I must say, I envy your chance at the ritual. Just, um... Why? Uh, didn't you take it? Don't let the seer put you off. Mm, the seer? Why do you it's say that? nothing. Just that wanders in dreams can be a little strange. Put it out of your mind. Did you want something else of me? Yes, we must spar. Kitke asked me to... Kitke? Kitkat, no. He did. Uh, asked me to spar with you. I suppose I can spare a few minutes to teach you a thing or two. But first, you'll have to do something for me. Mm, Alright, what do you want me to do? It's those cursed twins, Hulik and Navo. They've been playing in the training grounds again. I've told them countless times this is no place for cubs. I've tried both carrot and stick to keep them away, but they won't be deterred. Maybe you need to put some bear traps. Uh, no. You want me to talk to them? I've already told their father, Achega will see that they're punished. Again. I want you to help clear up their mess. What? Why? Jesus. But it's not my mess. Uh, why don't do you ask the twins to do it exactly? The grounds. It's dangerous, <sighs> and they'd likely only get up to some other mischief. Besides, it pleases me to make you do it. What bastard? Uh, soon you won't be able because to order me around. Me, I mean. It's true that of completing the ritual will make you a full-fledged black claw, yet it won't alter the years exactly. of experience that separate the two of us. Be assured, I'll have the right to boss you about for some time yet. Look on the bright yeah, side. Yeah, I doubt it. You can still order around those younger and less experienced than yourself. Such is the pyramid of life. Now, are you ready to start? Mm. Circle of life. It's the circle of life, man. Come on. The good news All right, is I'm ready. I've already cleared the worst of it, including the potato sculpture of Ganchi. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I think the twins have had some kind of sculpture with their grandfather, Ganchi. At least judging by what they did to his head. Suffice to say, that potato is no longer edible. Oh my god, they're wasting potatoes. As I was saying, the bad news is that one of the heads of the training dummies is missing. Same goes for wooden sword and spear, and three of my arrows. When you find them, Return the weapons to one of the barrels by the benches and reattach the dummy's head. The arrows you can bring to me. Oh, for the love of God. If they've plucked the fletchings again, I'm going to ask Achega to double their chores. Anyway, get to it. The sooner you're done, the sooner I can knock you on your back when we spar. Hmm. It's your pride that'll suffer see. the fall. Okay. So we got a new mission. Find the dummy head, find the wooden sword, find the wooden spear, collect all three arrows. Like... Hmm. Like this. See this? Can I pick it up? Yep, that's the wooden sword. Uh, that's the spear, I'm guessing. Alright. Oh. I like how it's illuminated. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, I need that. That's the... Come on. Pick it up. Okay, I got one arrow. Hmm. I got the head. What do we have here? What's this? 
Urg the Trolls Experimental Science? Urg the Trolls Experimental Science 1. Um, volume 1. Number 12. Tiny Cows. Observation. Tiny Cows on Far Away Hill are big cows when Urg gets the hill. Hypothesis. Tiny Cows grow very fast. Experimenting. Find tiny cow. Conclusion. Experiment abandoned. Can't find tiny cow before it grows big no matter how fast Urg run. Urg must not be the smartest uh, bear in the shed. Mm. Come on, it's already getting dark. The Count's final feast. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, press use to reattach head. Nice. Oh, another arrow. Can I just put the thingy here? Okay. Collect all three arrows. Come on, why it's so dark? Jesus. I mean, I know we're in the middle of the forest, but come on. Oh, what do we have here? Training shield, training sword, health potion. I'm gonna take them all. So, can I use the shield? Oh yeah, nice. So now when I want, I have the shield. I just don't know how to use it. I just have the shield. Okay. Hmm. Half light, half light grotto. Basically, it's a cave. Hmm. Collect three arrows. Oh, this is where they're maybe making swords, sharpening the weapons. Yeah, see. We have here broken binds, part one. Hmm. Well, obviously, if you're interested in the lore, uh, you can read all of these. Anything here? Nothing. Okay. Nothing cooking. Another book, Broken Binds, Part 2. And see the arrow. Okay. Come on. Got it. Return to Shadow. Hmm. Wait, is that a rotten apple? Can I pick it up? No. I can't pick up anything, even in in pickup mode. Wait. No, can't pick up the chair either. Can I pick up the shield? No. Well, the pickup mode doesn't work. Either. Perfectly. I can't use it. You can't do anything with it. Anyway. We got the stuff. Let's go back to Shadow. Shadow! Okay, dude, I got your arrows. Let's spar. All done? Yep. Um. Ugh, done? Can't have mercy. What did those little monsters do to my arrows? Uh, thanks for I don't know, dude. Take it up with them. Run into any problems? Mm, none, no, none. Now I promised you a sparring session. Are you set? Show me Let's what you've got. Fight. Come on, dude. Does he have any health on him? Do you see any help for? Enough, enough. Kit oh. taught you well, Ursa. Did that you he did. Spar again? You know uh, where I am. No. Should you change your mind? Okay. So we're done with that. Return to Kitke. Okay. Return to Kitkat. Come on, let's go back to Kitkat to Uncle Kitkat. That's not his real. Why is it so dark though? 
It all went super dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is not a good sign. This is definitely not a good sign. You've been a while. How was the sparring? It was good. Um, Shadow is a worthy I'm sure opponent. I'd say the same of you. You've grown strong, my Cholo. Even if you still have much to learn. <laughs> well, uh, I'm eager good. to continue learning. Good. How did you fare on the obstacle course? Oh, um, I'm glad to hear. Well enough. It was so hard. Were you injured? Eh, a little bit. Well, I'm still Nothing glad serious. you took those healing drafts. Do you remember how I don't think to I use those. dress a wound? Perhaps we should go over it again. Um, stop fussing, or that won't be necessary. Wait, but what if I want to know how to properly dress a wound? Uh, it's my okay, stop fussing. For more serious wounds, you may want to shave the surrounding fur first. I can show you how, if you wish. <laughs> Stay away from my Please fur. Yourself. At any rate, let's hope your mind and body have had a sufficient workout. Now, I need to hope. return to the let's hut hope. to yeah. retrieve something. But I have a final task for you in the meantime. Alright. Here. Um... What Take is it? these coins and go to Narbo's shop. He has an item for you to collect. Never mind what that, item? but be aware that Narbo will attempt to overcharge you for it. That Ursing would sell his mother's sandals if he had the opportunity. Be sure to <laughs> barter with him and pay little heed to his tricks and protestations. In the end, he would prefer to sell the item than not. Mm. I'd be better able to bother if I knew what the <clears> item was. You're right. It's a replacement for that old weapon of yours. Now don't get too oh. excited. It's only a modest thing. Hmm. You know I haven't the wealth for Ursonite or one of those ice core crafted blades. But no one will say that Kitka sent his charge to the Dreaming, carrying a weapon with more fishes than the canyon wastes. Aw, thank you, Uncle. It's only you have as my much thanks. as you deserve. I've given you little beyond food and shelter all these years. My hunting days are past, and what work I'm able to do around Suig doesn't yield much coin. But this small gesture I can manage. Oh, well, uh, you've given me much more than food and you shelter, Uncle. making me sentimental again. But know that your words mean a great deal to me. Now go to Norbo before he Don't cry. breaks his word and sells the weapon to someone else. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let me know more Here about the dream. Why is it so dark? We can talk further afterwards. Return is it already to the hut night time? You have it. It's very dark. Okay. Okay, bartering Narbo, collect the weapon from him, the lost son, talk to Nishio, uh, talk to Sinala. Okay, well, can I... Checkbox to track the quest. It's kind of weird, though, that I have, you know, I, I can track quests, but... Uh, I don't think the map that I have... Uh, in the lower left does anything so quiet it's, it's a little weird I mean Narbo's cleaning rag wait can I go up here ah, I can't go up wait no, can't look in his chest either. Why? If it All right, Narbo, give me that weapon. Today's the big day, if I'm not mistaken. Nervous. Nah, and a little. Be? Today you meet the great mother herself. Your path in life will be revealed. Mm. Many Ursine might feel their stomach churn at the prospect. 
But don't despair. It just so happens that I have a rare herb to chase that right away. Found only on the remotest peaks of the Yakuna <laughs> Mountains. Practically invaluable. Yours for 20 orans. Wait, 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 wait. 20? Isn't that bucket... Buckleweed? It grows all throughout the no, forest? No, you must be mistaken. Though I can tell you're an ursine with a discerning eye. How about this tincture? Guaranteed to grant you the swiftness of a jungle cat. It's distilled from a seaweed that grows in the deepest depths of the sunken city. Beyond price, yours for 10 orans. Uh, okay, I'll pass. Fine, I'm here to pick something up. Kika wanted me to show you some weapons. I don't want to pick the one that takes your eye. Here we are. Are a lot of people still playing Arma 3? Okay, so we have to choose a weapon. The short sword, the sword, the battle axe. Battle axe is pretty cool. The great hammer or the hammer. Well, I'm not... Uh, not the... Sh uh, let's get the sword, you know. Classic. Battle axe. Oh, let's get the battle axe. Good. Sever the limbs of their enemies, eh? Fine choice. Oh yes. Mm. Looks past this bet. I'll give you five orange. Are you trying to ruin me? I can accept no less than twenty. What? I'm not going to give you twenty. Have to eat nothing but five. Piece for a month at that price. Sixteen, no less. It's customary to five. raise your offer, you know. Sixteen. A coin less and my wife will cast me from my hut. Right. You don't have a wife. Seven. Hmm. No deal. Ten. Thirteen. Twelve. Alright. Thirteen. Now let me see. He, he wants me to pay twenty. Sales tax and weapons duty. That makes a total of twenty orans. What? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Wait. No, 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 no. Let's see. No. Because cause he wanted me to pay 20 from the beginning, so now he's charging me 20. Uh, let's see. Uh, intimidate. You'll honor the agreed price, else I'll see what use my old weapon has left in it. Um, it would be terrible if the village learned the truth uh, behind your what limb. What do you mean? I was wounded while slaying a ferocious dire cat. No, I'm pretty sure it was a boar. Okay, okay. I can tell you're an ursine of a unwavering principle. I'll grant you a reduced right. price this once. Ugh, okay. The robbery. Free Pleasure doing right. business. All right, see what we got here. We got the axe. Okay, let me see my character. All right. So, okay. Actually, I kind of like the axe. Kind of like the axe. Uh, where's my shield, though? Oh, the shield's here. Okay. Wait, I can't use the shield. Oh, you can't use the shield with the axe? That's kind of stupid, given the fact that the axe has only... Okay, that's stupid. Uh, that, that is pretty bad. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> right. Well, that's pretty cool. To have scenarios made like that. Like, you could play whatever challenge you'd like. Return to Kitke at your hut. Um, talk to Nisho. Let's look around a bit. Let's see if we can find that Nisho. Let's go. I can't believe it's so dark already. Jesus. So freaking dark. Where were... Uh, hmm. Where's my hut? That's that's something that... Oh? People here? Navo? Oh, the, the kids. 
The pesky kids. Hmm. It's, it's kind of it's really dark here, Jesus. Uh... Hmm. Wait, this is the. This is exiting the village, right? Wait. I'm gonna get lost in here. Where the hell was my hut? I remember walking quite a bit to get from my hut to the. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Let's get. Okay. Return to Kitke at your. But where's my hut? This is my hut. Yeah, this. No, this is my hut either. Where the fudge is my hut? Oh, wait. Someone here. Good day to you. Tishak. Oh, you don't want to talk? Okay. Is it up here? Hello? Oh! Sinala! I was supposed to talk to her. Or him? Her? I guess it's a him. Her? I'm looking for some archery training. Do you come to the right place? I've always time for a little target practice. Firam, I'm off to shoot stuff. Alright. Grab the bow and follow me. Okay. I don't know why she's not talking. Maybe she just doesn't have the... Mm. I'll hold the left mouse button to notch the arrows, release left arrow to fire the arrow. Okay. Bam! Thank you. Um, wait. Let me get this. Hit the hay target with five arrows. Fair enough. Thump? What thump? Hit. Nice. Thud? What? That'll do. You can obviously shoot, though my husband Fern could manage that target and he's half blind from running fumes. <laughs> That's not not much of a compliment, but anyway. Alright. So what do you want? Hit the three target five times. Well I didn't I do that already? What does she want from me now? I mean, what? Uh, where was the target again? It can be tricky to make out in this light. Look for the tree behind the round hay target. Uh, that thing? Behind the tree? What? Oh, that target! Okay, alright, alright. Uh, okay. Alright, I, I found it, okay. Yeah, that thing. Okay. What the hell? Come on! Alright. There we are. It's not very well lit. Did I hit that? You missed the dialogue? Hmm. Right. Okay. But that's the target, right? Up there? What the hell? Really? I, I didn't hit the target from here? Ah, okay. That was one. That was one. Two. Okay. 
Does zing work? No, zing doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, nice. I wanted to target further up the trunk, but Ferrum refused to climb higher after his first fall. Husbands are lazy. Yeah. Anywho, I reckon it's time to spice things up. Let me know when you're ready to move on. Uh, let's go, yeah. Next target, what do we have? Come on. I really wish it was better lit though. It's kind of annoying that this is so... Anyway. Oh, watermelons! Gonna shoot some watermelons? Uh, there's only one thing in the world better than finely crafted arrows or sign. You know what it is? Um, finely crafted axe? No. You meant to say, what is the only thing better than your arrows? It uh, ruins the suspense otherwise. Oh, okay. Um, what's the only thing better than your arrows? My arrows on fire. Oh, now you're talking. Almost anything can be improved by adding fire. Um, sure? Uh, I've coated the arrowheads in a substance I like to call blazing death oil. Try not to get it on your fur. See the melons up in the balcony fence? It's time for their fiery demise. Don't worry, Ferrum will clean them up. Okay. Alright. Wait, can I move? Because I can't see all the air, all the watermelons. Shoot the melons on the balcony. Uh, what the f fudge? Uh, I don't know what the fudge that was. <laughs> that was a bug, probably. What? Oh, come on, I missed that. Are you kidding me right now? How the fudge did I shoot the... Mm, that's weird. That is odd. Oh, come on. This is dumb. Okay. Alright, so you... Okay, that was still dumb, though. Okay, that's two. I mean, arrows usually go down a little bit. I love the smell of flaming mellow melon. No, why would you like the smell of flaming melons? What in the name of Kit? Leg it! My melons! Don't worry, Ferrum will get over it in a few days. Okay, well, it's... Wait here, I'll set up the final target. Hmm. Ah, oh, a moving target. Right, okay. Shooting stationary targets is all well and good, but Prey is really polite enough to stay still for you. Apart from the Scarf Snake, of course. Uh, Scarf Snake? Yeah, scarf things are easy to shoot because they always hang around. Okay, about the target. This is your hardest challenge yet. See if you can hit the sack with a five, with five arrows. Just imagine it full of melons. Okay. Well, if. Okay. Oh. oh, come on, are you kidding me right now? Jesus. Seriously. Hmm. I mean, let's be honest, th there's definitely something wrong with this. Because I should have hit it a billion times already. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. Oh, unbelievable, alright. Oh, come on, I didn't hit that! 
I like how now the arrows go down like hell. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, this is stupid. I mean, they're going over? Oh, come on! This is stupid. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, finally I shot once. Jesus. I don't know. Okay. Shoot it once. What do you want me to do now? This has been a blast. Uh, but I'd best go check my husband uh, isn't on fire. Why do you do that? You really hate him, don't you? Keep the bow. Someone with your ability should never be without one. Are you heading back to the village? Yep, let's head back. Come on, sharpshooter. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, it's a... Okay. Okay, let me get back this. Okay. So we've done that. The Lost Son. The chieftain's daughter wishes to speak with you. Well, where is she? It would be helpful if I knew where the fudge she is. Okay. I guess she'd be around here. See, the two... Yappa. Alright, Yappa. Hmm. Okay. Come on. What the fudge? Hmm. You know. It it's it's really freaking dark in here. Hmm. Hello? Kid yeah. No. Hmm. What the hell? Why wait? Excellent. You have the weapon. Did Narbo give you any trouble? Oh, I had to come back. Okay, never mind. Right, yeah, he tried, obviously. Were there He's any scanning. coins left over? That yes. Much. Incredible. I must have you do all of my trading from now on. I do <laughs> believe not? Narbo finally met his match. Is it wrong of me to wish I were there to see his face? <laughs> he looked like he's uh, been supping vinegar. <laughs> vinegar, <laughs> indeed. Oh, you are incorrigible. Keep the coins. You've certainly earned them. Now, let me have a look at you. To think, my little Cholo, once no larger than my paw, now set to become a fully-fledged Black Claw. The sapling becomes a tree whilst our backs are turned, as the saying goes. <laughs> but I'm becoming sentimental again. Do you have any final questions of me? Yeah, about the... Uh, wait. What Not can you tell me about the dream? What you already know. It's a rite of passage all Ursine must complete to become an adult and a full member of their tribe. You'll visit the spirit realm, where the Great Mother will reveal your destiny, or at least the part she wishes you to know. The rest is for seer wanders in dreams to tell you. Hmm. Is it true that I'll see the great white bear of Keth herself? These are matters herself. to be discussed with the seer, my Cholo. Okay. Have you mm, more questions I understand. for me? Well, let's see. Uh, can I be fully fledged black girl if I have no you parents here? Orphan, but you've lived here almost all of your life. You're as much a part of this tribe as anyone. Don't ever believe otherwise. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm happy I'm to hear. I'm a black law. Now, do you have further questions about the right? Mm. What does What's the seal like? A, a unique Ursa in many ways. But I have no doubt he's the wisest of us all. He takes mushrooms, right? Please ask. Mm. That you are. I'm ready. That you are. Your blood might not be my own, but know that on this day, I'm as proud of you as any father could be. You make it sound as if you'll never Perhaps see me again. that's true, in a sense. Of course, I'll be here awaiting your return. Yet, you won't be the same Ursa I stand before now. You'll be a rightful Black Claw, hmm. touched by the guiding paw of Ket herself. One part of your life is ending, my Cholo, whilst the next is about to be revealed. I'm no seer, yet I felt since you were a cub that yours is to be a remarkable destiny. Soon, you'll be granted your first glimpse of that life. Now go, before I'm tempted to tell stories of you as a whelp. The seer's hut can be found far to the northeast, but you may want to talk with some of the villagers first. I believe Nietzsche was looking for you earlier. Remember, yeah, today true. of all I, I days, won't. the gods will be watching. I like how that line was spoken by someone else. I think it was. Um, I'll return. Farewell, Goodbye, Joel. Uncle. Okay. Talk to Nietzsche. Cat's blessing. Nietzsche, oh. I Hello. wonder if you might help me with a delicate matter. I can have, I'm kind of busy. Yes. Are you okay? <sighs> no, it's my brother Sabu. I worry he might have done something foolish. Okay. <sighs> something you foolish. You know as well as I how impetuous he can be. I spend half of my days worrying what trouble he'll get into next. The other half pretending I'm not worrying. But in this case, I think I may be rightly concerned. He undergoes his dreaming next right, what year. Happened? And recently, he's been talking a lot about proving himself to the Great Mother in the meantime. And now, he's gone missing. Um, and you want yes, to find him? He's been gone since yesterday morning, which in itself isn't so unusual. He's been out hunting for this long before, even though I've asked him not to. But he seemed so restless lately. It gives me a bad feeling. I'd go myself, but it's my father. As chieftain, he can't be seen to tolerate an ill-disciplined son, lest he be accused of favoritism. He can be hard on Sabu as a consequence. It's taken all the artifice I possess to disguise Sabu's absence as it is. If I were to suddenly disappear as well... Right, then he'll know something is wrong. And likely a very angry yeah. one once we were discovered, even if Sabu was simply on a hunt after all. Don't worry, I plan on reprimanding him myself for so readily abandoning his duties here. But for now, I just want to know he's safe. Will you put my mind at rest and find him for me? Um, okay. Ket, bless you. I knew I could come to you. It's not much, but there's some armor I've been making for Sabu that you can have should you find him. No doubt you deserve it more than him. Okay. I'd prefer a kiss? Uh, no, let's say Even a word so, isn't necessary. I'd like to give it. Hmm. Do you have any idea where Sabu might have gone? Certain, but he's had his nose stuck in an old book from Father's collection, which he refused to show me when I asked. Sabu usually has the patience of a trapped prong here when it comes to reading, so it makes me suspicious. Hmm. Perhaps you'll find a clue in it. Otherwise, you could talk to okay, Tishak. the book? Whenever Sabu throws himself into some new escapade, Tishak isn't far behind. I okay, can't tell, tell you me much, about the book. but it looks ancient. As chieftain, my father inherited all the books and writings belonging to past leaders of our tribe. 
but they're mostly dry historical records, or else legends we've heard countless times around the fire. I'm not sure what would so interest my brother. I've searched our hut, but found no sign of it. You could try looking on top of the stone archway. Sabu often stashes his things under a rock there. He thinks I don't know about it. Okay. What if Sabu possible, has the with him? father is precious about his books. Many of them are one of a kind, so Sabu might have chosen not to risk taking it. Okay. Uh, where can he I find be Tishak? assisting Betu with her cooking if he hasn't abandoned his duties like my brother. Head through the stone archway, then look right for Betu and Uchet's hut. If you do talk to him, don't let on why you're looking for Sabu. And especially don't mention my name. Likely he's been sworn hmm. to secrecy if he knows anything. Okay. Don't if he knows, I'll worried. get out of them. Tishak is just easily influenced rather than willfully disobedient. Hmm. Return to me okay. if you discover Take anything. my leave. Well, first of all, what the... F okay, let's save first. And one bug that really bugs me <laughs> is that whenever we go into the menu, the freaking audio settings reset. I don't know why, but they do. So, yeah, that's that's annoying as hell. So you have to always... I mean, it, it might be a bug brought on by the latest update. It's just frustrating. Okay, so on top of the st stone archway. So how do I get up there? That is the Mita. Okay. Right. How do I get up there? Can I go here? Oh yeah, come on. I wish it wasn't so freaking dark. Oh, look at that. The stash. A little secret stash. Health potion, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. And we have Ancient Journal and Ur the Chos. Okay, I'm guessing that this one's not the book. Hub is very noisy when see Urg, but very quiet when in Urg's belly. Mm, Alright, no. This must be it. Ancient Journal. This appears to be a journal of a black cloth chieftain from during the War of the Tribes. A leaf marks a ladder entry. I thought it impossible, but these black days could gather uh, could, could gather any more dark. I was mistaken. See things the trees has fallen. It happened during a battle with the Pangani tribe via a straw arrow. Needless to say. The seer was not involved in the fighting himself due to his oath never to harm another Ursan. Ursine. He was uh, lending to the wounded. Long ago, we used to argue about that oath of his. I deemed it ill suited to this island, infuriatingly naive. How long I come to see. How have I. Oh, how have I come to see the wisdom of his vow? After witnessing the slaughter of his of this conflict, for longer still uh, has it been too late. The war of the tribes will continue, no matter our regrets. One cannot arrest the fall after the leap. My fellow Black Claws are questioning the seers' death. It is not a sign of the Great Mother's wrath. They ask to strike down one so gentle. I believe it to be the opposite. It's her mercy. She's sparing, sings the trees, the pain of witnessing the bloodshed yet to come. I travel to the cave beneath the lake plateau where signs the trees kept a shrine to the great mother, wishing to lay my hands once more on the effigy he carved in her honor, to feel a connection to her and to him, to glimpse the purity of spirit our to the to glimpse the purity of spirit our people once possessed. 
that the cave was flooded and collapsed rendered the route impassable. Perhaps the Great Mother's hand is also in, in this. I don't deserve that glimpse. Instead, may the sight of the effigy one day bless a future generation should peace ever return to this island. Else let it forever be buried along with our memories. So he's probably looking for that cave. Uh, okay. Well, let's... Let's go down. Careful. Careful. Okay. Well, I can talk to Tishak too, right? So it's... They said he was somewhere on the right? Jesus, if only it would it wasn't so dark. It's really annoying that it's so dark. Kubo. This is kind of like the the tavern. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Let, let's just finish the quest. Return to Nisho. Talk to her. The lost son. Hmm. Where was she? So she was okay here. Yeah. Did you find any clues about where Sabu might have gone? I did. Um, I found the book. It was the journal of an ancient a black journal. cloth chieftain. That makes sense, if the books have been passed down over generations to my father. Though I still don't know why my brother would find it of interest. Was there any clue within? Yes, it mentioned an effigy of the Great Mother, covered by a seer sings the trees, and a cave seer under the sings plateau. sings the trees? Truly? That must yep. date it back to mm -hmm. the war of the tribes. Such an object. It would be infinitely precious to the tribe. I can see why my brother would think retrieving it would gain the Great Mother's favor. Yet, there must be hundreds of caves beneath the plateau. Sabu would have to narrow it down somehow. It's possible he went to Ganchi. No one knows those caves better than him. He'll doubtless be at the fishing hole on top of the plateau. Hmm. What can I find? Follow the path Ganchi. behind me. It'll curve to the right and take you uphill to the plateau. Once you're up there, turn left until you reach the river. Then follow it to the lake. Ganchi should be there. Please mm, make okay. haste to the lake on top of the plateau. Find Ganchi. Find my brother. Make it. All bless right, your path. chillax. So what path? She said the path behind her. Oh, this one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, let me just see the journal. So we still have the seer. Talk to the wandering dream, the lost son. Okay. All right. Let, let's do this mission and then go for the dreaming. I, is this the path up? The plateau. Then left, I think. Oh, this doesn't help at all. Map. Oh, great. That. Uh... Mm. Wait. There's nothing here? Okay. Well, this uh, this isn't helpful at all. Cave, okay, I don't have anything on the map. So... Hmm. Uh, 
Am I going to the right place? You know, the map is not good. That's not helping at all. Hmm. Hmm. I think I hear water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely water here. Big mouth speed. Oh, fudge, there's a boar. Ah, oh, run! Hmm. Well, I think there's someone on the other side. How do I get there? Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Go up, come on, go up. Go up, little bear. There we are. This is a fishing spot, right? Yes. Oh, you're glitching. You're glitching. What? Oh, oh, you scared the fish away. What fish? Hmm. What You're making plenty of noise boss? yourself. You'd best have good reason to barge in on my fishing hole. Barge in. Um, have you seen ah, Sabu? Yes. Another interloper and my peace and quiet. It's a wonder there's any fish left on Duan Road after all his gabbling. And no patience either. He didn't even set up his rod before he wandered off. Maybe because he doesn't want fish? Hmm. What no, was he gabbling about? Proving himself to the Great Mother. I presumed he meant by fishing an admirable pursuit, even if he would do better encroaching on someone else's spot. But he said he had a far more glorious feat in mind. He spoke as if Obviously, I knew nothing effigy. of glory. As if I wasn't the Ursa who caught the 80-pound spotted boarfish after an eight-hour war of wills. Okay. Did you he see where Sabu went? me about one of the caves beneath the plateau. I recognized his description of it from when I used to scout them for fishing spots as a youth. It's down near the river. I told him it'd be a pointless trip. That cave's been blocked up for near half a century now, and for good reason. Oh, but that was hours ago. I assume he's gone back to the village by now. If he thinks I'll haul his gear back for him, he's got another thing coming. Chieftain's son or not. Oh. Give me the gear bag. Um, uh, wait. Do you know anything about an ancient effigy of the Great Mother? That I too am ancient and therefore should know of every ancient trinket on this island? Uh, no. I thought one with your wisdom might know. Well, I suppose your reasoning is sound enough. Alas, I am not aware of this effigy. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Uh, where can I find the cave? Instead of turning into the village, go across the river. Follow the rock face until you see a cave with a small waterfall over its opening. But like I told Sabu, it'll be a wasted trip. You'll find not but rubble. Okay. Sabu is in the village. Nisho, Nicho is worried. Uh, Nisho? Oh, when I guess Nisho is worried. Not in trouble. But I wouldn't wish huh. harm on him, especially knowing how it would shatter the chieftain's heart should anything befall his son. If Sabu's gone poking his snout in that cave, Naito is rightly concerned. If the stones above your head don't fall on you, the ones below your feet are liable to give way to a chasm. There's good reason most have been blocked off. Good. Do okay. so quietly. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna go... There's a boar there, but yeah, screw him. <laughs> screw the boar. Find the cave. Okay. Let's 
find a freaking cave. Must be somewhere there. On the other side of the river. Right? Must be around here somewhere. Oh, I hear a waterfall. I hear a waterfall. And if I hear a waterfall, that sounds like a cave. Uh, can I go down? No. Okay, wait. Can I go down through here without killing myself? It doesn't really look like I can. So how the fudge did he go down there? Okay. Is this the cave? No. One. Keystone cave. Catstone cave. Wait, which? Oh, it can't be this one, right? Okay. Oh, crap. Careful. Drop here. Here we are. This is it. This must be it, right? This must be the cave. I hope. No? Uh. No? Well, this is odd. Hmm. Okay, wait. Oh, come on, dude, really? What the fuck is this thing? Find a cave. Well, he said the waterfall. Ah, here we are. Okay. Roll locking his cave. Okay. Sabu. Sabu. Where are you, little bugger? I'm guessing there's gonna be some enemies around. Hello. Hello? Oh, great. Because that's what I need. Okay. Okay. Come on, where is the little bugger? I hope we're gonna return to town, like, you know, with a cinematic or something. We won't just, uh. I, I won't just have to go all the way back. Wow. Jesus. What are you doing here? Looking for you, little bugger. Let me guess. Nicho sent you. She doesn't think me capable yeah. of standing on my own two feet. Hmm. I've told her she just worried about you, dude. Myself. Enduring hardship is part of a warrior's life. I won't let it stop me. Not now. 
Hmm. I, I know. I, I heard it badly on my ankle while traversing the previous chamber. I think it might be broken. Cat damn it. Hmm. It can wait. Uh, I can treat it. How did you know to come here? The book. What? How? How can you know that? And now you're the here book, to the, dude, the journal, yeah. Is that it? No, I don't care about the effigy. Uh, you, you are? How do I know I can trust you? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I, I suppose I have no alternative but to trust you. There's an alcove high above the waterfall at the far end of the cave. I'd stake my life on the effigy being there. I just can't reach it. Not with this blasted broken ankle. You can but I'd come back here when you're fine. It up. Think of it. A oh, statue carved by the seer sings the trees himself. It's beyond priceless. If we retrieved it, the Great Mother would surely grant us a glorious destiny and reward. No, oh, great. Um... You should trust the, in the Great Mother. She doesn't That's require gestures. Yet what did she do before her dreaming? I'll tell you. She trained from dawn to dusk. She questioned Father endlessly about being a chieftain. She was ensuring her future, and the Great Mother duly rewarded her. I'm simply doing the same. Your own dreaming approaches, you must understand. My sister has earned her place in this world. She is the daughter that my father wished for. Now I must earn a destiny worthy of his son. Ah, oh, Jesus. Mm. Said his heart he truly shattered. Said that? Yeah. Ganchi's not one to say what he doesn't believe. But I'm here now. And so is the effigy within our reach. Will you help me retrieve Oh, it? Jesus. No, oh, okay. Cat bless you. All my efforts of finding this place won't be in vain. We can share the glory of returning the effigy to Black Claw hands. Go, go. At the far end of the cave, you should find a way up. Every part of me wants to come with you. But with my injury, I'd only hinder you. Step carefully. The route is treacherous. Oh, great. Very funny. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna save. Um, zero two. And of course, have to lower the volume again. Jesus. Okay. Okay, retrieve the effigy or return to Nisha. Okay. I'm guessing there's gonna be some enemies. Can't just be. Actually, maybe not. Okay. Well, careful. Okay. I mean, if I if I could return with with both the kid and the thing, that would be great. Okay. Uh, crap! Crap! Don't fall! Do not fall, dude! Come on! Okay. Okay. I'm up here now. Hey, we are. Wait. What's here? Uh, blue buckskin pants. Sure, I'll take that. And the effigy. Return to Sabo. Alright. I really thought that I would fight something, but apparently not. Apparently this whole cave is empty. So suspicious, but you'd really think there's something in here. Like a giant spider or I don't know. Uh bats. Or something of the like. Guess not. 
Because I can't see anything around here. Okay. Okay, Sabu. Let's go back to the village. Ket truly blesses us. It's as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, will you share the honor of this find with me? Um, yeah. You it needed us both. Gratitude. Return to Nicho with the effigy. Let the tribe know of our triumph. Okay, I will. Tell Nicho what about you? Wait. Chill range help. Don't worry. The pain is nothing compared to the joy I feel in our success. Go. Hurry to the village. And don't drop oh, it. Okay. Okay. So now I have to go all the way back? Jesus. That's such a long way. I have to go up. I don't know how to go up. Ah, uh, great. Mm. Okay, careful here. Okay. I really wish there was more light in this game. It's, you know, it's so freaking dark. Okay. How the fudge do I go back up now? Hmm. Wait, I see a bridge? If there's a bridge, maybe there's a path too. Well, this is a path. But this is the path to the village. I don't know, let's let's just go. I mean this should be it, right? The path to the village. Oh a little bit of light. It's still pretty dark, but uh eh. Quickly, quickly, let's do the mission and then go to the dream well to the seer at least. Go to the seer first. Hmm. Hmm, I guess I have to go there, right? Is this like a long, a big, huge fall? Oh yeah, it is. Uh, okay, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't, you know, just fall. Yeah, let, let's not do that. I think I need to go there. See, the map isn't helping me at all. I just have those two blobs on the map, but they're not exactly helpful when it comes to being you know, like, what's there? Like, is is that the village? Is that what you know? Hmm. Reach Nicho. The seer. I mean, see, it doesn't even change anything. It's really frustrating. Minor quest details. Okay. Like, am I supposed to go there? To the northeast? Or there, to the southwest? Where the fudge is the village? Wait, wait, not that, sorry. Ah, so frustrating. That definitely needs freaking work. Okay, I think I came through there, right? Yeah, I think I came through here, so... So let's just follow this path. Uh, hopefully it's gonna go to the right... Eventually. Mm, yep, okay. I think this is... I think this might be the... The road... To the village, back to the village. Okay... Oh, 
a crate. Oh, come on, game. Jesus. Jesus freaking hell. Come on. Are you shitting me right now? Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not that difficult. Come on. Oh, great. Jesus hell. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> okay. Is this the road to the village? Is this the road? I don't know. Wait, so I came through there. Okay. Jesus. Village? Is the village there? Come on. Village? Wow. Oh, I actually lost some health. <laughs> okay. Okay. I actually lost some health, the, you know, falling. I mean, there's, as you can see, there's quite a bit to, to explore, though I don't see much in terms of, you know, creatures or anything. But, uh... Okay, how the fudge do I get up there? To here, I guess. Come on. Is there a bridge anywhere? Oh yeah, there is a bridge here. Okay. Come on, this must lead to the village, right? Right. Must. It must. All roads lead to Rome. Apparel. Okay. I don't remember being here. Great. Great. Freaking great. I'm just trying to get back to the village. Why is it so hard? Why is it so difficult? Why? Why is it so difficult? Why can can there be a proper map? Just this just a map. I just need a map. I just need a map that works. That's not total shit. Dude, can you go up? At all? Okay. Mm. Where the fudge? I mean, I like how I've been going in one direction to, to find something, but it's like... God forbid I'm actually reaching some some place. God forbid. Whatever that f thing. Yeah. Great, it's closed off here. Can't go up there. Oh my god. Okay, so that that's the first thing that I would change. I would make a proper map for the game. Like a proper map, a map that you can actually use to to get somewhere. Cause this is stupid, and I mean, like you see when I when I activate these, this these should change. These should freaking change. So it's like I want this on the on the on the compass, or I want this on the compass. Nothing changes. See, it's the same stuff all the time. It should be really, really, you know, just this. I want this, just that. Not shouldn't be difficult. It really shouldn't be freaking difficult. Oh, mother fudger, seriously. This is so shit. Cause it's, I mean, it's an open world, and if you get lost in open world, it's bad. And this map is totally useless. 
absolutely useless. I mean, can't I mean? Okay, this is what you would need. To either either make a proper map or a proper compass. All right. See, nothing changes here. I've show it on the map on the compass. Nothing. Show it on compass. Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't matter. So. That's bad. That's that's really bad. That is bad, 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 bad. Okay. So I see a path going through here, but nobody knows where it. I mean, I mean, signs. It would be cool to have some freaking signs in the fucking world. Seriously. Some signs, a proper map, or or e either a proper compass or a proper map. Two two of those things. I mean, seriously. How am I supposed to get anywhere with with something like this? So shit. Hmm. You should be like first priority, you know, make a a map that actually works for people. Uh, Cause I don't know what's, I don't know what those two indicators show. That's the problem. It's like, is this towards the town? Is this something else? Uh, it's it's a mystery. It's a freaking mystery. And it's a bad mystery, of course. Warden's house. Okay. I, 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 I didn't want to go here. I didn't want to go to Warden's house. Oh, fuck off. I mean, it's like... It's, it's, I'm discovering things without wanting to discover things. It's like, no, I just, I just want to go to the village. Can I go to the fucking village, please? Can I just go to the village? It's not that much to ask. I just want to go to the village. I wanna get to the village, it's, just, it's not that difficult. It shouldn't be that difficult. Hmm. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I mean, you have a freaking bear on the compass, in the middle of the compass, and that's, that's wasted space right there, unless there's something. I don't know. I don't know. And this map is horrible. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's like... It, it, it's, it's got nothing on it. Village. Well, where the fuck is the village? Like... The camp? What, what, what's the camp? Cave? What, what's the cave? Nothing. There's nothing on it. What kind of freaking map is this that you have nothing on it? Jesus. Super bad. It is super bad. I have to wander for freaking 20 minutes to find the, the freaking village again. Because there can't be, you know, a... a Decent proper map in this game. Very disappointing. I mean, even given all the, you know, problems and come on, this should be like uh, at least have that work. You know, proper pathfinding, and then after that, sure, you can make stuff. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing I'm going to discover something else now. Like a different uh, area. Oh, look, we're at the... Okay, okay, we're going towards... Okay. So this is towards the village because, see, this is the the path, the... Um, what do we call it? The, the obstacle course. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
Jesus, seriously. Come on. Run! Apparently I can run indefinitely. Don't seem to have any mana that's depleted. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, where's the... Here, right? Oh? Oh, it's all after the... right. Here. Press B to switch between first and... okay. Well, I know that. I know that, thank you. Who's this guy? A chega. Oh. What the hell? Oh, sorry. Did you manage to find Sabu? Yeah, I did. Oh, bless you. I knew you'd find him. I'll ask Shato to arrange a rescue party right away. And what of this effigy the journal spoke of? Well, it was truly here. there. By the gods, it's breathtaking. And carved by seer sings the tree's paws. To have this back in hmm. black claw care is a boon to us all. And it was my brother who found it? Um, Incredible. yeah, we found it together. Ket, bless you for aiding my brother. I will ensure my father suitably honors both you and Sabu for such an accomplishment. It makes me wonder if I was mistaken to try and temper my brother's ambitions. Maybe he was right about the need to prove himself to the Great Mother. Well, uh, you were right to be worried about right. him. If I hadn't asked you to search for him, his injuries might have stranded him in that cave. As it is, I'm simply glad Sabu will soon be safe. Yep. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot about the I. armor I promised you. Here, take it. Give me the armor. It's a small token compared to the peace of mind you've granted me. Okay. May it bring you. You have my thanks. Battle. May Ket bless your okay. path. Okay. All right. Let me see what we got. A pair of uh, this one. Basic armor. Minus four. Hmm. Okay. All right. So the last thing we have here, the seer. Talk to wonders in dreams. Okay. Let's find wonders in dreams. Where the fudge that guy is. Hmm. Wonders in dreams. I can't go through there. Okay. Oh. Come on, where's... Again, you know, following the map is not... Not very... I mean, the compass kind of works, but it's, it's not the best thing either. Wonders in dreams. Okay, right. Okay. Where the fudge is this Wonders in Dreams guy? Oh, come on, really? Can't go wonder this? Oh, mother fudger. Jesus. Jesus, people, come on. Oh, he's here? Oh no, he's not here. This is just, it's just a freaking cave. Okay. Where the fudge is wonders in dreams? Hmm. Hey guys. Bye guys. Hmm. So I guess the place where I've been before, that's the seer. And I, why does the seer have to be so far, you know? It's like, 
<laughs> yeah, the city is like a billion kilometers away from the village. It's like, why? Uh, because he's like his solitude. Why? Because he masturbates a lot and he scares the children, so we don't let him. I'm like, alright, okay, okay. What? We got stuck in that tree. Watch out for that tree. Come on. It's okay, I can go up here. Come on. Oh, seer, where are you, seer? Where the fudge are you, man? Come on. Why do I have to walk a billion miles to find you? Why, man, why? Why do you have to be so far? Can't you be just outside of the village, like, like in, right next to the... No, you had to be far, far away. Because you want solitude and want... What not? Okay, can I go through here? If I go up here... Hmm. Ah, wait. Hmm. Is there a path up there? I think it is. Yeah. I think there's a path. That's why it's... Right. Okay. Wait, but it's not a path here? Oh. It is. Kinda. Kinda. Just a little bit. Kind of a path. Mm hmm. Where are you, dude? Where the fudge are you, man? Come on. Uh, you're up there somewhere. Oh Jesus Christ, I have to... how the fudge do I get up there? Come on. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh come on, really? Of course I can go up. Come on, dude, really? Go up, go up! Nice. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But nice. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to find a path to the right. Somehow, somewhere. There has to be a path. There has to be a path. Maybe it's not here, maybe it's in the other direction. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't even know where, on which road I am right now. Uh, yeah, the, the maps we need to be remade. Okay. So, if I go through here, it kind of looks like I'm going... Okay, so this is the opposite direction, basically. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. I hope there's gonna be a pass to the right. If not, screw it. Screw wonders in dreams. The probably he's just a junkie in the woods. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, how the fudge? Oh, Jesus Christ. The fact that you can't even get there properly, I mean, come on. That's bullshit. That is bullshit right there. Uh, I guess this is the path. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, freaking maybe. I can find the freaking guy after two hours of playing. Uh, God forbid. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have to go here and then up again? And see the... Oh, okay. Alright. Up. Hmm. Uh, wait. Maybe not? Okay, never mind. That's not it. Hmm. Come on, people. How the fudge are we supposed to get up there? Jesus. Jesus. So that's the road. So I have to go through here. Somewhere through here. Ah, oh, that's. Hmm. Oh, that's so crap. Seriously, it 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 really is. Is this the path? No. No, that's not it either. Jesus. Wonders in dreams can wander the fudge off. Seriously. Can, wonders in dreams need to wander off a freaking cliff. That's what I want him to do. I want him to wander off a freaking cliff. And take the... Uh, the map with him. I mean, I'm sorry, but how the fudge do I get... Oh, no, no. I think I need to go up there, but how the fudge do I get there? Jesus Christ, seriously. Super crap. Super shit. Super duper shit, seriously. Really bad. Uh, frustrating, annoying, bad, absolutely bad, 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 bad. I mean... And the... Come on, go the fudge up! Seriously, this is unbelievable. Un-fucking-believable. It's something up there, right? It's somewhere there, I think. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a path somewhere, but god damn it if I can find it. God damn it if I can find a shitty path. I can't find a shitty path. Really bad. This is... It's... Yeah. And you have to go and find the, the bastard in order to progress, so... So it's not like... 
It's not like you have an option, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's just a side quest, you don't have to worry about it. Nope, you actually have to do this shit. And the fact that you can't is bad. I can't, I can't, you know, emphasize this enough. And that's it, see? Time to come, the dreaming ritual, travel to the seer hut where wonders and dreams await you. Okay. Alright, seer hut. Okay, well, the fucking map doesn't tell me where the fuck this seer hut is. So, yeah. Maybe it's on... No, because I've been all the way here, right? And there's no path up. Proper path. It blocks. It's, yeah, it stays. I mean... Seriously? Okay. You know what? Um, I say screw this, because this is bad. And it's... If I missed... I don't know, maybe I need to go up here, maybe that's the thing. You have to jump through all of this crap. Uh, maybe that's the thing. Still, still not fun. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what you need to do to go through this. Because cause, cause that makes sense, because a seer would just be so inaccessible, right? Because people would go to him and want to talk to him, but he would be super, super, super unavailable because you have to go to this weird path, right? That, that makes sense. No, the seer wouldn't be somewhere where, you know, the, the chieftain could could uh, reach him. No, God forbid that. No, that's no, that's... No, definitely not. Definitely not. He has to be in the most remote place in the world. Freaking hell. As far away from civilization as possible, because why not? Oh. Okay, not here. Here, maybe? I think I still need to go up. I'm guessing this is the path, but it's... Hmm. Because, you know, again, like, no normal person would would make it so so bad to, to, to reach someone like a seer, right? Unless people don't want to talk to him at all, ever. Then that's fine. If you don't want to talk to the seer, then obviously you don't care. But I'm guessing these people care about talking to the seer, so... The fact that he's so inaccessible... It's, um, bad. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? I should save. I should save. Oh, Jesus, shut the hell up! This, this is another bug that shouldn't be here. Freaking... Actually, the sound resets when you go into the menu and also uh, when I played previously, I saved the game, I, I, you know, got... I exited the game, I went back. Um, the, the graphic settings were reset. So it was uh, from 1080p, it was... It was... Uh, uh, 1024 by... Uh, by seven, uh, seven, six, eight. I'm gonna guess that I have to go through here. Let's see. Um, oh, and of course, it's super, super dark. What's this? Can't touch that, I guess. Oh. It's a box with nothing in it. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Pull the lever. Hello? Oh, it's a hammer. I think. Is this a hammer? Uh, it looks like a hammer, yeah. So... Okay. So maybe this isn't the seer hut. Like the order road to the seer hut. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Do I need a lever here? What the fuck is this? Hmm. I can't touch it. So... Maybe there's a lever here? No? Hmm, what is this cave then? What am I supposed to do here now? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea what this thing is. Do I have to go through here? Uh, probably not. So this is a cave. Maybe I need to come here for the ritual? I don't know. I have no idea. Huh. Well, this is shit. Looks like a cable of some kind. Hmm. Well, I have no idea where the fudge the what where the hell of wonders in dreams is. Um. He can pretty much go to hell if, you know, because uh, he's just, he should just be somewhere in, close to the village, easy to find, but, you know, apparently it has to be a freaking maze, so everyone that was with the Lord Dreamline, I wish I, I went to the dream world to see how it is, but <laughs> I have no idea where to go right now. At this point, I have no idea where to go. Maybe I need to go here, and then up still, and then... No, that's not it. I can't go higher up. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's, it's weird. And it's... It, the map isn't helping, so that makes it frustrating, not fun at all. And... Yeah. Um, what can I say? Uh, the movement could be better. I mean, you, you can see a lot of places where the game can be improved. Uh, the map should be the first freaking thing, because, you know... It's, it's, what the f... I mean, it should be super, super freaking easy. Just fine. Just put it on the fucking map. Show it on the map, or at least show the direction on the compass properly, and you can choose. Because, see, this is the thing. I choose something else, and that, that the compass doesn't change. It's like, check box to track the quest. See, nothing is tracked, and that this uh, orb is still here. If I track this one, the orb is still here. If I track this one, the orb is still here. So what the fuck does that orb show? You know, that's bad. That's bad and needs to be fixed. Hopefully, with a future update. Um, if you do want to get it uh, in the state that it is in right now, uh, you can get it for fifty percent off. So at least you can have it really cheap for uh, three fifty. Uh, three, literally three fifty uh, dollars a euro. Uh, later on, it's gonna go back to seven. It still needs work, so I don't know. Um, hopefully, there's gonna be um, there's gonna be stuff in that direction made, uh, and there will be more updates because you know the latest update was big, significant, I would say. But the fact that I can't even find the freaking seer, not even get to the you know, before we get to the dream world, we have to get to the seer. And I can't find the freaking seer, and the map isn't helping, and I'm guessing the map crap is from before. It's not a new thing. 
but so uh anyway everyone that was um that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this live stream uh, please give it a thumbs up real quick if you like what i do here consider subscribing and telling other people about the channel uh, i'm closing in on 1000 subscribers so if you can spread the word i do you know developer interviews gameplay videos obviously live streams monday to friday cover a metric ton of games i've uh, put up uh, a gameplay video earlier today of a puzzle platform called Puzzgun, so you can check that out on the channel and uh, you know see the back catalog it's uh, 1607 videos at this point actually 1608 i think maybe now so um, uh, check that out uh, you can also support me by using the affiliate links in the description below I have Amazon and Humble Store affiliate links, so if you can, bookmark those links and whenever you use them to make a purchase, you help me and the channel out while paying nothing extra. So you just do your shopping, you get the games from the Humble Store or the Humble Monthly or anything you want from there, or you get stuff from Amazon and you know, you also help out the, the channel again without paying anything extra thanks again everyone for watching and until the next time we see each other definitely tomorrow for a new live stream have an awesome day